What is going on, folks? Your boy Loin coming at you with a few important updates and some relevant information that I wanted to share with you. First and foremost, let's go ahead and address the broken subscriber box issue on YouTube. So pretty much every year, they make subtle tweaks and changes to the way the YouTube algorithm works, and it seems to constantly break the way that the subscriber feature works. So I'm sure a lot of you that are diehard fans and want to see everything and anything that's uploaded as soon as it is uploaded to my channel have been missing out on a lot of videos recently because they aren't getting sent to your inbox or your subscriber notification box. So there is a way to fix this, or at least there's a way to mitigate this problem. I'm sure that you've heard other YouTubers explaining this, but I figured I would do it for my own fans as well because you never know. So, it's pretty simple. If you are already subscribed to me, all you have to do is go to my channel page and click the little bell icon that's located next to the subscribe button on that page. And you should be able to go into YouTube settings and uncheck the box that says receive occasional updates and notifications from this channel. That is very key. You want to make sure that instead of receiving occasional updates, you are receiving everything regardless as to whether or not YouTube decided the video was doing really well and chose to highlight it and send it to you in an email as opposed to sending everything to you, if that makes any sense. Now, you can also do this on mobile. It's located in your account settings, and it should be more or less the same process. So, once again, if for some reason you're actually seeing this video, I imagine most of the people that have been affected by the subscriber box glitch or broken subscriber box are not seeing this video. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could help spread this around. If you know any fans of mine that haven't seen any of the recent updates and think that I'm dead or something like that, please go ahead and send it to them. Let them know that all is well. It's just that YouTube is basically broken again. Really sucks that this has to happen constantly, but I guess it's part of the inevitable evolution of things. Now, let's go ahead and move on to some other things. Even though I've tried to make it exceedingly clear to everyone that I do not have administrator privileges or moderator privileges on my Rust server that I've been running recently, everyone still seems to think that I do, and pretty much whenever something happens, say someone breaks the rules and they get banned for it, everyone always seems to blame me, or at least want to act like it's somehow my fault, even though I wasn't the one who banned them. Now, to prove this to you, that I don't have admin or moderator privileges, so I can't spawn in items, I can't noclip, I can't cheat in the game in any way. I've selected a few clips of footage here that basically prove it to you. So first and foremost, in Rust, when you have any kind of elevated authorization level for admin or moderator, you get the default demolish option on your hammer, which is a permanent option that allows you to destroy structures no matter how long they've existed. Normally, on the hammer, the demolish feature only lasts for like five minutes or something until a structure is technically permanent. So you can see here, I'm typing no clip into the console commands and nothing happens because I'm not a moderator, I'm not an admin, I cannot no clip, I cannot spawn in items, I cannot cheat on my own server. I've intentionally established a group of people to help me administrate the server without me having to get personally involved in every single problem that occurs. Now, I would be dishonest if I told you that I couldn't get into the control panel of the server, restart it, update it, ban people, and kick people, and mute people from there. I do have the mute command as one of my privileges within the game itself. So if anyone's getting too unruly in chat, I can just type slash mute right into the game and mute them. But that does not mean that I'm an admin and I can spawn in items. They're two very different things. Not to mention that we have permissions set up pretty much for every single admin ability. So even if someone is granted moderator access, they still can't do all of the things that would normally be available to them because we have separate permissions installed that they have to be authorized on in order to use those. Now, when it comes to this whole ordeal with admin and moderator problems, we did recently have a moderator that was hired on for a couple days. Uh, There's really no other way that we could make sure that he was going to do a good job besides giving him a chance for a while. And he actually went around and stole a bunch of things from people's bases with no clip. 
and basically caused a whole shitstorm on the server of people getting really angry and thinking that I was stealing stuff from their base for some stupid reason because I fake all my videos, you know, all my videos are totally fake because I steal stuff from people's bases. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I don't want to get offensive, I don't want to belittle anyone who was accusing me of that, I totally understand, I'm very, very, truly, sincerely sorry that that had to happen with our mod, Selty Sturlson, who's been banned from the server and demoted, we demoted and banned him as soon as we could prove that he was doing what he was accused of, so, if you suffered from that, once again, I'm super, super sorry, I can't personally do anything to change it for you, what's done is done, but I hope that you will understand that we are on top of it. We do not let that type of stuff happen on our server. As soon as we can prove that the accusations are true, we get rid of people that screw up. We had a previous admin who was removing people's bases. His intention was to go and remove empty structures that were just causing lag on the server. But for some reason, he managed to remove a bunch of bases that people were still living in. And same story with him. As soon as we could prove that he did that, and it wasn't just a bunch of salty kids throwing around fake accusations because they're mad and they can't understand that they broke the rules and they are justifiably dealt with for it, we removed him as soon as we could prove that he was actually responsible for doing those things. So once again, super, super sorry about any of that crap that may have affected you, but it's been dealt with and there's really no other way for us to make sure that someone is going to be a good staff member without giving them a chance. What else are we going to do? try and read their mind and see if they're going to abuse their powers. We, we can't do that. So hopefully all of this is informative and satisfying to you. I know it's not really a proper video by any means. I am working on another proper video right now, but I figured that this stuff was super important. So I figured I would just do a quick update about it, get another piece of content out there today, and hopefully save some of the lost subscribers that don't know where the heck I am because I haven't seen any updates recently. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for over 26,000 subscribers, etc., etc. Have a wonderful week. Peace. It still freaking works. What the heck? Dr. Loin Rust. Hi. Shot? A lot of grease. Oh, he's dead. Wait, who's dead? Lion? I don't know who it is. Probably is Lion. What's his name? Oh, Lion's <laughs> down in Empire just- Oh! Double cross. Dude, he's got a hundred um, ammo on him and an AK. Dude, I'm grabbing that. Grab the rest. Dude, oh my god, I'm out of arrows. Oh, it's- is it sleazy? You're not with us. You're not in our clan. No, you're technically- oh. Who is it? Is he back? No, it's Empire. Yeah, um... I don't know who I just killed right there.